Give me some of that long. Hard. Rock. What kind of show do you think this is? It's a show about me, right? Really? Classic rock, hard rock, and heavy metal from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Plus, stick around for Plugin, where we support independent artists one song at a time. Take it like a man from a woman who knows music. It's time for Rockasms with Jen. <clears throat> and John. Oh, whatever. Really? Yes, really. Whatever. Fine, you're such a baby. Welcome one, welcome all to Rockasms. I'm your whiplashing, hot flashing, and all too often heat rashing, hormonally challenged host, Jen Mitchell. And while it has crossed my mind several times to just rename this show to Def Leppardgasms, the very least I could do is kick today's show off right with my boys Def Leppard and Animal off the Hysteria album from 1987, which I think would easily explain all of this hot flashing. <laughs> <laughs> However, I do think I've found the cure for all of this hot flashing because here to buzzkill my Joe Elliott fantasies is my newly crowned ginger inbred boy cohort, Sir John Basaha, lead vocalist extraordinaire of the babies. I'm sure you really enjoyed that warm welcome today, John. So how has it been going? (laughs) I've been doing great, Jen. Um, You know, I'm sorry to be the big kill on, you know, I know how much you love Joe Elliott and everything like that, but I really appreciate you choosing Animal. It's one of my favorite songs that Def Leppard did off that album. (laughs) I figured I could make it up to you after last week's show and the initiation and everything. And I'm just wondering, have you fully recovered? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we go on, Mm -hmm. you have a long way to go before you can make up to me for what you did to me last week. Jonathan, you ignorant slut. But it's not going to happen with me. Just keep piling on. Ignorant, ignorant slut. Well, wait. So what you're saying is you still don't have any faith or trust in me. Oh, no. I'm not going to be anywhere near the trust factor Uh, portion of this. Well, this this, uh, this uh, show is probably not going to help to boost that on my end. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Um, (laughs) Great. It wasn't just me, though, that was affected that way by you and um, worrying about the whole trust fate thing, because we had one of your fans write in in response to after last week's show. And this is what she had to say. And I'm going to quote this. Great music, but I'm still recovering from the shenanigans. Don't know if I can listen to you two again. You two have too much of a vivid imagination. Now, John... Um, I don't really think that she's alone in having that opinion and everything like that, but I'm going to just ask you anyways, just to amuse myself. What are your thoughts on that? (laughs) I just want to know if that was really pointed at me because I think you're the one with the vivid imagination. I just kind of go there. You know, I might egg it on a little bit and I might keep throwing flames, you know, gas on the fire. But I think that the shenanigans and everything starts with you. So I'm not going to take responsibility of that comment. I appreciate the fact that you want to blame me for everything in life and everything like that. And that's really (laughs) a sweet commentary on what the dynamic between us is isn't yeah, it yeah yeah mm-hmm. you're the ringleader okay well you can just keep blaming me for everything but there are some things that i can blame you for for instance today's theme of the show you, by the way before you go mm-hmm. on you know what people call people that you know they, they place blame on they call them scapegoats <laughs> Get it? Well, you know what okay. i can always depend on you for cheesy comebacks always thank you, and, thank um, you very much and, and thank you, you. do you need some ritalin again ivy over here, right here squirrel, for this guy. Squirrel, squirrel. That's right. Squirrel, shiny things, John Basaha. Mm-hmm. All the same ah. thing there. You did bring up the whole scapegoat thing, and you egg me on when you say trigger words like that, just so you know. <laughs> All your talk of pygmy goats not only got me talking and, and uh, making fun of you for that, but other people last week started talking about that as well. And so, John, a little later on, we're going to be getting to what the listeners had to say about your little pygmy goat. I almost wanted to say infestation, but you do have an infestation of them, but your infatuation with them. You know, I, I love the self-imposed upon me infatuation I have with pygmy goats. <laughs> Because if you go back to the very first interview and co-hosting, you brought up pygmy goats. But that's okay. I'm going to digress. I will accept full responsibility. No, you don't get to blame it on me. That no, goats. it's all you're, you're completely to blame. First of all, no, you don't get to blame it on me because what okay. people people what you don't know out there is that John IMs me all day long. This is all he does, and he will talk to me and send me pictures of pygmy goats and compromising decisions and stuff. <laughs> It's not good. He brought it on. I just brought it to light publicly. And isn't this a music show? Aren't we supposed to be squishing buttons and spinning MP3s? We could, but I'd rather push your buttons for a while. Um, Got it. But you know what? Since you did bring up the whole music thing, I guess we should talk a little bit about that. This is Rockasms <laughs> after all. 
At the top of the second hour, we'll be welcoming a band out of Long Island, New York called John Wilkes Booth. There's a backstory there. You're going to have to hear it at the top of the second hour, but a little interesting factoid here for people. Did you know that Mr. Basaha is also originally from New York? Now, they probably don't know that because, you know what? I asked you to fill out a bio to put on my page at chasmswithjen.com. You haven't done that yet, so other than people knowing that you're with the babies and that you sang Crank It Up with Kenny Wilkerson and his band Nova Rex, Jonathan, they don't really know that much about you. You ignorant slut. You obviously weren't prepared for the show once again. So I tell you what, I'm going to have you read your bio to everybody so they get a little bit more familiar with who John Basaha is. Go ahead and read it out loud. Yeah, I'm not reading this. Uh, You don't want to read it? That's okay. I'm going to read it. Just sit back and listen and don't you say a word because it's on the internet, therefore it makes it true. So here we go. John Basaha grew up on a farm where he was surrounded by many animals, and while he liked the pretty horses, sheep, and even the cows, he was always drawn to pygmy goats. Many thought that was because he was short in stature and that he'd have better luck handling the pygmies, not to mention the fact that he felt taller around the wee little goats. But later in life, he went on to be this really super cool rock star, and while his fame was very fulfilling, he had a nagging ache in his heart, a longing, if you will, to be back on the farm surrounded by his precious pygmy princesses. During a recent interview with Pygmy Magazine, he was asked what it felt like to leave behind his rock and roll lifestyle, to which he replied, There is no light that shineth brighter than that of the glint of ye pygmy goat's eye, for they are my personal beacon, and without them I wander aimlessly in the dark blanket of night. Some may say his devotion to pygmy goats is unnatural, unsanitary, and even at times unlawful, but it is because of John's sheer, unconditional love for goats that inspired him to pen many great songs that are still enjoyed by his fans around the globe. A dog may be a man's best friend, but the pygmy goat will forever be John's lifelong companion. The bio's on its way. (laughs) <laughs> Edge of 17 was one of your song selections I love that song by the way Love Stevie Nicks too Speaking of 17 It's hard not to think of The song from Winger 17 And you know Sometimes on this show I like to add the feature That I like to call my double dip of Kip Why? Have you seen Kip? I'm just yeah, saying Yeah he's got a great chest hair Man he's like <laughs> Don't even make fun of my man Kip I'm not making fun of Kip. Liar, Larry Pants and Fire. I love Winger, man. He's a great guy. He's a great player and a great singer. And he's been that throughout the years, which is why I'd like to title this segment Nostalgia to New. So I'm going to play two Wingers back to back, one from 2014 and one from 1988, kicking us off with 17 from their self-titled album. And then we're going to cut to Queen Babylon, which I totally dig the song. And I hope you guys will like it, too. All right, what'd you think of those songs, John? Not that your opinion means much. It's not like you're a musician or anything. (laughs) I I love Kip's voice. The guy's a great performer. So yeah, good stuff. I loved it. Up next, we're going to be getting to some of your song requests and a special tater tot off. Tater tots? I love tater tots. Mustard, bacon. Yeah, Yeah, this isn't the kind that you want to put mustard and bacon on, so you're just going to have to wait for it. Hey, this is Rachel Ball from Skid Row. Hey, this is Danny with Screaming for Silence. This is Scott LaFlam, and you are listening to Rockgasm with Jen Mitchell, who is a hottie to Molly. Well, welcome back. The last two songs were GTR, When the Heart Rules the Mind, and Jafria, Call to the Heart. They were song requests, I do believe. You are correct, sir. GTR, basically one of the first supergroups that were out there. It was kind of like Yes meets Genesis, and that was awesome. And then when Jafria came out, man, I really loved the vocal. It kind of reminded me of Steve Perry. If you listen to Jafria, that, that vocalist really sounded a lot like Steve, so it really drew people in. Yeah, two really great tunes. One can never really go wrong with Steve Perry, although I have heard some people say that from Jafria, that that was like a watered down poor man's version of Steve Perry's voice, which I totally disagree with because I think that song rules too. And so does the person who submitted to me, which was ironically Sniper from 3D in your face, believe it or not, your favorite Striper Sniper. or What did you refer to him in I am as of? Mm -hmm. Striper, 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 Striper. Slipster, Snide, Snidely. What, what, I, I've got a. He's got many names. I told you he was kind of like Strider from Lord of the Rings. I the, think that you called him Snuffleupagus at one point, if I'm not mistaken. I, a Snuffleupagus? I did not call him Snuffleupagus. Yes, you did. You did. No, no. Yes, you did. Okay, well. Splinter, I think, was one of them. I, I had. I have got a bunch of them. While she's gonna get me, I just unfortunately have to get you. Uh uh-uh. uh. You're <laughs> well, yeah, not yeah. sorry because. I'll be sorry when I meet him. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna go on and on and on. <laughs> 
You might be exactly. having your little battle with Sniper over there, and that's everything. But John and I had our own little battle of our own recently because he said, oh, we should throw some Queensryche in the show. And I was like, all right, well, tell me what song that you want to hear. And he tells me his, and I tell him mine. And I said, hey, let's just call this segment the Tater Tot Off. Now, I have a reason for calling it a Tater Tot Off, and I'm going to have to blame, actually, my twin sister, Melissa, for this one. Her and I might have had, okay, maybe we still do, crushes on Jeff Tate, because have you seen him? Hello? <laughs> She may refer to parts of him as tater tots. It's really what she did. So, and our tater tot off, why don't you tell them the song that you picked? You know, my pick was Jet City Woman. Killer vocals on that tune. I mean, you know, you should know me by now. For me, it's the vocals. You need a dang good vocalist and Jeff take a sing his ass off. And you know what, John, as much as I'd love to give you crap about picking that song, there's really not one Queensryche song that I can really go against because Queensryche's one of my all-time favorite bands. And that is why I chose off of their Rage for Order album from 1986, Walk in the Shadows. Aw, Mom, not peanut butter and jelly again. Don't worry, sweetie. This isn't just any old kind of jelly. It's Dan's special jelly. What's that, Mommy? Well, sweetie, I was wondering that myself when I was at the market the other day, and I saw the sheep on the jar. Then I read the label, and it said, The texture and flavor will be nothing like you've ever experienced before. Made from the sweat of the finest New Finland sheep and manufactured at the Utapimp Idaho Canning Company. Ooh, I want to try some. Blech. It's kind of chunky and has a weird undertaste. Can we order some pizza? <laughs> Dan's special jelly. Just spread on the bread and hope for the best. Welcome back to Rockasms. I'm your host, Jen Mitchell, and reuniting with me once more is... John Basaha of the babies. <laughs> you acted for a second as though you didn't know who you were. I'm trying to figure it out still, you know. I know you're lost, but one day you'll be found, and that's why I'm oh, here for you. I'm just like a budding flower. I'm going to take a cue from your cheesy intro and outro book and say, maybe you just got lost on Desolation Boulevard. Ooh, great <laughs> album. Which was the album from the song that we just heard from Sweet with Fox on the Run. Now, I have a particular fondness for Sweet. And last week during the show, I had told you I was going to be giving you some pop quizzes. So this all tie into Sweet in just a second here. I, I just want to ask you, John, um... If you bothered to study a little bit harder this time on my site at gasmswithjen.com, what was the very first rock song that I ever fell in love with? This should be a very easy one. Uh, it was a Def Leppard tune. <laughs> it was Ballroom Blitz. No, it you're, was, you're so wrong. I asked you last week if you're going to give me pop quizzes <laughs> that you need to give me sections of your site that you want me to, to go ahead and study. On. I told I mean, you to study the whole I look whole at your site right now, there are... There are 12 different menus, each one complete with about 10 different sub-menus. That's probably thousands upon thousands of pages that you're asking me. So the next time you want me to do a pop quiz, say I want you to study everything on the Rockasms tab, the 80 Gasms tab, the World Metal Report, or something like that. You're making it too I'll complicated. Wow you. No, no, no. Whatever. You're making it too complicated. Booby Diver! Study everything at gasmswithgen.com. And I'm going to tell you right now, the song that we kicked off the segment with, Sweet's Fox on the Run, was the number one song. Jesus! First song that I ever, ever fell in love with. Eight Rock. And it's no mystery right now why I'm choosing some animal theme songs here. I have a little song. Are we going to do a song by the birds now or something like that? No, you we know, are like... not. We're going to do something even better. I just need you to nice. sit back and listen because I know you're probably in pygmy withdrawal. And I've got just a cure for you right now, okay? I'm waiting. So here's the deal. Why don't you sit right back and I, I may tell you a tale, a tale of three little pigs and a big bad
put you on every bed Here's what you gotta do Get off the barn, stay off the farm Go read a nursery rhyme Don't ring 976-B-A-A-A That kind of love's a crime Hey, Dirty Deeds Done with shit Should tell him no. Look at the flock, they're all in shock. Here comes that mutton fan. Knock out the fleece, give them some peace. Don't be a on your man, no. Dirty deeds, done with sheep. Dirty deeds, little more Velcro gloves, knee pads, late night dates, done with sheep, warning signs, electric fences, high voltage, done with sheep, dirty deeds, don't tell them what I've done to you, done with sheep, dirty deeds, dirty deeds, done with sheep, ah! Quiet, girls. I think the shepherd's coming. <laughs> <laughs> bon Scott's rolling over in his grave right now. That was great. <laughs> you are such a big fat liar. You're actually the one that did the voiceover of that. We all know that you like to do your impersonations. Come on now. Yeah, boy. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Again? Nothing up my sleeve, presto. No doubt about it. I gotta get me another hat. <laughs> Just loves that trampoline. And now here's something we hope you'll really like. I can do Bon Scott, but not like that, man. I, that was awesome. Well, actually, that was a little bit of research done on my behalf with the help of many of the listeners who stepped forward to contribute their own farm animal songs for you with a little cornucopia of hell, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Just for yeah. you. Your little welcome yeah, our wagon. New, our listeners can't love them, can't kill them. Look, if you're going to behave this way on the show, these are the types of listeners you're going to attract. <laughs> you know okay, all right. Bring it on. I keep telling you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Tickets are currently on sale by visiting farmrock15.papertickets.com. Scene one, Apple, take two. Farmrock15.pay... <laughs> <laughs> He'll get it out eventually, folks. Jesus! Farmrock15.browntickets.com. H. Crocs. Where can they get the tickets? Mental block. <laughs> Tell me again. Tickets are currently on... Shh. Shh. I'm trying to talk. Really? <laughs> Farmrock15.brownpapertickets.com. Exactly. If you are could you type shushing? better, it would be great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Blame me again. Herb, clean up on aisle four. With more info available on their Facebook page at Farm Rock Concert Series. I did say Striper. I know, but Striper. so many things I could read into that. Where do I begin? <laughs> I mean, I have the feeling that you wanted to mention this to me just to egg me on and poke the bear with the whole striper thing again. Yeah, you know, so Slipster over there, <laughs> Sniplet, I can't remember, I, I keep confusing the name, you know. Um, I'm wearing yellow and black striped chaps today just in honor of you. You know what? I'm going to have to put disclaimers on the show all over the place thanks to you joining me and stuff. First of all, I want to make it clear that I love Sniper. And not only that, I also love Striper. So I'm not bagging on the band at all. It's John's fault. This whole thing is his fault. Sorry. I, it's just how I roll. <laughs> Apparently, you're going to be rolling into like a big hill of fire ants whilst covered in honey. If you don't watch what you're saying over there, dude. I'm just saying. All right. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll mind my P's and Q's or my B's. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. See, you're just... A shovel. Someone hand this man some Ritalin and a shovel. Uh, he needs both. Really bad right now, Stad, okay? Now back to Jen and John, who are fully naked in the studio. I got a lot of spittle in my mouth today. Can you tell? Yes, you're I'm speaking like this. slightly drooly today. You know, that's or Rich's rich fault. Rage. He is it's hot. It's Rich's fault. I know. Yeah, I know. That's I what know. I'm saying. I, I'm, I, I love his hair. I could make that so twisted. I'm not even going to try and do that. So I'm just going to go with thank the safe you. thing here and just give a huge shout out and thank you to this week's featured plug-in artist, John Wilkes Booth. 
We also thank you, Dave Castagno at Radio Screamer. See, I'm going to start drooling again. Rich Rage of the Rich Rage Rock Show. The beautiful Kendi Lockerbie of KD Promotions. And John Nowinski at Arm the Pit for co-sponsoring the plug-in segment. As well as to all the bands who have signed up to be on the show. We're booked all the way through August, John. Can you believe that? With bands uh, That's from, awesome. I know, right? Now, we got bands coming on from all around the globe. And if you want to know who's coming up, please visit our site at gasmswithjen.com. Click on the plug-in icon at the top side of the page for our official show schedule. And last but certainly not least, we want to thank you listeners for tuning in each and every week. Jen and I both feel this is a group effort. And between the musical contributions, listeners, sponsors, shenanigans, and <laughs> stations that air Rockgasms, we're now proudly on 41 stations in eight different countries. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our current and new affiliates. Yes, thank you so much to all. All of you. We also want to thank the many musicians who have joined me on Rock Adams, including Autographs Randy Rand. You mean us? You mean us? <laughs> well, you weren't on that show with me, John, so it was just me. I had Randy all to myself. <sighs> and he was here that. just a few weeks ago. Randy reached out to me this past week and said when their new single is ready to go, he wants us to be the first to debut it. And not only that, he and the band said that we could announce the second track title, which is I Lost My Mind in America, ironically. Well, I'm about to lose my mind here because when they are ready to roll it, all the boys from Autograph will be joining us right here on Rockasms to kick it off in style. So until next time, this is Jen Mitchell and John Basaha of Rockasm signing off and saying, we hope the music keeps hitting you in all the right places. Bringing their first official release, here's a song Autograph wrote for their fans that we dedicate to all of you. From 2015, here's You Are Us, We Are You.